Apex motherfucking legends, man. This game has literally been out for over a month, and within that month, it was able to hit 10 million, 25, to even getting 50 million people playing the game. But sadly, that is not what this video is about. This video is going to be about what I believe should be added to the game in the next upcoming year. So without further ado, these are my three things I believe should be added to Apex Legends. Now, starting off with number one is dialogue between the legends. But we shall all be forged in the glorious realm. Mirage. Shut the fuck up, man. Quit that nail running shit, man. I'm trying to eat my goddamn cream cheese bagel, nigga. Now, the legends in this game play a huge role, obviously, and even the backstory of it, a lot of people love. There's not much backstory on every single legend, but there is a personality or something that makes them who they are. You can tell just from the way they talk. Every legend has a reason why they're in the Apex games. If you've actually done research on it, they do explain why they're fighting in the games. And imagine giving a little bit of backstory through just playing the character. Now, just think of this scenario. You have a squad with Gibraltar, Wraith, and Bangalore. Imagine having all three of them conversate with each other throughout the game. Maybe they ask questions on, oh, why are you in the Apex games? Or why are you here? What are you fighting for? Because every legend has a reason why they're fighting in the game so imagine giving us like little hints of the backstory of these legends and kind of piecing it together and us figuring out what happened why are they in the games and why are they fighting for i think it would make a lot of apex fans go crazy about it because the more the characters say about their backstory the more conspiracy theories or just ideas that on how each legend came up to be in the position that they are now imagine even having funny dialogue of wraith making fun of gibraltar's hair it's hair whack it's gear whack me i'm tight as it's just nice to have character development dialogue instead of having just to talk about where an enemy's at or where a weapon's at just having dialogue that talks about each other just developing the character of the legends would just make us feel closer to the legends and make them like them a lot more the second thing on this list is a weather system now we're going to have a nighttime cycle supposedly in the next upcoming seasons in the game but for right now i haven't at least heard about anything about a weather system and i think that's something that is different when it comes to battle royale i never really heard of a battle royale with a weather system really kind of put it down in the comments because really all i played is fortnite and apex legends so the developers at respawn should be adding a weather system is because well look at the game the game already looks beautiful as it is looking at the sunlight literally looks amazing to look at sometimes and the graphics just stand out way more than when it comes to like pubg black ops 4 to be honest with you and even fortnite because of the graphics looking way more realistic than any other battle royale game imagine just having thunder coming from the sky and it's raining and it's pitch black dark outside like this game already has the graphics to make weather systems look beautiful imagine seeing the snow in this game imagine seeing lightning coming from the sky in this game imagine seeing the moonlight in this game this game is already graphically beautiful like if you get creative with it imagine skull town being bombarded with a huge sandstorm like you're just looting for random things and whatever and all of a sudden just a sandstorm just starts piling up on you guys like it probably won't like bury everyone but it'll mess up the vision of everyone there and school town's already packed already as it is so like imagine that plus it being hard to see so i don't know i feel like it would be difficult to kind of deal with but at the same time it would be just a nice challenge to add to the game and it just adds something new just something different i just feel like not many games really do that now for the last thing on this list i would really love to have climbable mountains in this game you already know if you were to climb up a mountain or just land on top of those big canyons you can't be there for more than 30 seconds i can understand why they don't let you go up there for more than 30 seconds because you can literally like snipe people up there with a kraber and literally take everyone out and no one will be able to get you but i'm thinking more of like a rocky terrain where the whole ground is just complete rocky kind of like these examples right here 
and like having rocks coming out of the ground in a way and then that kind of provides cover for battles around there but i don't know these are kind of examples that i kind of saw and i really i, I like these a lot like imagine seeing bangalore's ultimate being thrown on top of a mountain you know like you're, you're on the flat area and then people are fighting up in the mountains and then you just see the ultimate you just see their battle just going on in the top of the mountain like i don't know i just think it'll be cool that's just my take on it but i do have one more thing to say instead of uh mountain ranges and i think we should add like rainforests to the game for most of the map in Apex Legends, it's fairly distant. A lot of the times when you see an enemy, it's from a distance. But imagine having a more close quarters kind of combat area where there's trees, tall green bushes, or just logs on the floor. Just like a, a very natural terrain where an enemy could pop up from a corner at any time. A rainforest and a weather system just kind of works together really well. I don't know. That's just my opinion on that. But there you guys have it. Those are my three things I believe should be added to the game of Apex Legends. If you guys enjoyed that video, please like and please subscribe. If you guys really did enjoy that and you made it this far into the video and you did not even subscribe yet, how dare you? You're supposed to subscribe, man. You made it this far. You might as well subscribe. You might as well. Like, even if even if you're kind of iffy on subscribing, just do it anyway. Because like, even though you're iffy about it, trust me, it's going to be worth it. Don't worry. But anyways, if you really like Apex Legends videos, if you really like that kind of content, then just subscribe because definitely my channel will be full of it i'm currently working on a funny moments video for apex again because my last video did a lot of good um i got a lot of good feedback from it so i'm gonna do more of it anyways if you guys enjoyed hit me up leave a comment whatever anyways catch you guys on the next one see ya